What's up everyone? Toy Insanity here and today I'm doing some Petri Packs of Series 1 Fungus Among Us. These are the icky, sticky, stretchy, wall crawler, germ, bug based toy line of icky, sticky, ugly, buggy figures with the Toys R Us exclusive. But first I gotta show you man, I fixed one of these canisters. I'm gonna fix them all, but I wanted to show the before and after. Alright, so this canister comes with this weird uh, plastic, uh, you know, the, the lid, let me unscrew this, the lid is attached to this piece of plastic, which allows you, ideally, to pull the bugs out, see what's going on, but I think it's whack because, basically, when you push, you gotta put the bugs into that piece of plastic you got to push them down and then often when you go to lock it they'll get like they'll get pinched between the clear plastic and the gray plastic and uh well i just i think it was a poor design so what i did is i took a hot knife and i cut the plastic with the hot knife up here to make one that's clear all the way around as compared to this dumb initial design that's gray. Now you have to do it that way. You can't just pop it out because this piece of plastic that ascends and descends is part of the piece right here. It's a single piece of plastic and it is glued in. It is either glued in or it's sonically welded in. I could not get it to release. Uh, that's why I had to cut it. But this is, you're gonna wanna retain the top part as a piece of the container. Let me show you, so you can see here where I cut out with the hot knife this piece. Uh, now a hot knife is just, it's basically an X-Acto knife that is 950 degrees hot. So it's not exactly immediate, it does take some time to melt through this kind of plastic. It's intended for soap or styrofoam or foam board. So stuff that's really lightweight and really low melting point. To get it through something like this, it did take a little bit of time. I'm going to do the others, um, but I just wanted to show the before and after. And here's a whole additional thing. You see how they say, oh, put the Petri dishes in here. It holds four. Yeah, it holds four with that plastic thing. So take the stupid plastic thing out. Unfortunately, you have to cut it out. And now it holds five. Not that there's anything special about these anyway. Now imagine if they had done clear ones, or at least translucent ones. Translucent green, translucent blue. So you could see your fungi in the Petri dish while they're in the containment unit. But anyway, this is the one we're going to be putting our fungi in today. So we get the lid out of here. This, this is total trash. Get the five containers out of here that will fit in the new one. Get the old one with the four containers out of here. This we might reference. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really interested in finding their names. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what's in these 18 packs. But I might reference that if we're looking at one, trying to figure out if it's rare or something. I don't know. Probably not even gonna look at their names. So the Another thing with the difference between using this to pull them out versus just dumping them out, you get to see the whole wall crawler effect in the container like this. It's like they messed up that containment unit on, <laughs> I don't know, three or four different ways. Because another way being the way they did the colors on the on the uh, super bugs, as they're called. But anyway, anyway. Maybe I could just pull one of these apart. This is another totally whack thing, is why they did the checklist like this. But anyway, pack number one. We got the blue guy that looks like cauliflower. And this guy is absolutely awesome sculpt. Man, why can't he be a typical harder rubber? Why can he not be grocery gang trash pack rubber? Look at that dude. Anyway, one petri dish down. Here comes number two. Yeah, I like this guy too. A spider looking dude. 
So that's in the special moldy variant. This guy with the big mouth, his name is Killer Bug. And I know that only because look, look how subtle, look how, look how sly that was, except I'm pointing it out right exactly where that uh, dumb checklist is laying. Oh, focus, refocus, focus, what happened? Yeah, can't. Oh, uh, yeah, these things. These things are harder to tooth than I thought. Here's one. We got one. We got one right here. This guy we definitely got before. He's in that box over there. Getting dirty with his dirty bug friends. This guy we just got. So two packs are not consistent in the sense that you get the same two per pack each time. Okay, 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 okay. And there's those guys again. What is that spider's name? His name is Arachnacode. He's in the digital faction. I like this guy too. What a, that's such an excellent sculpt. Just that lame plastic and his name is Moldy Blighter. Okay guys, we're ready to keep going. We get 13 more packs. The freaking Arachnicode again. And this guy, I always thought he's a squid, but <laughs> Look at this, okay? Squid, right? No, he's an emoji. He's an emo a smiling emoji with one part of his face uh, corrupted. I'll prove it to you because he's in the digital as well. Look right there. Slimy Smiley. All right. Keep going on these Petri Dish 2-packs. Oh, I like this, dude. Ah, I might have to look that one up. I like these sculpts so much. It's just that unfortunate plastic. His name is Fang. He's tropical. And there's that guy again. I guess we might as well know his name. We get him so much. His name is Klingon. It's dumb, right? Not gonna look these guys up, but we have him a lot. It's a funny looking guy. There's Arachnicode again. This fungus looking guy is Bungie Face. Arachnicode Gray. This dude looks like a trash heap. Man, I like this one too. Who is the one-eyed guy? Big old Cyclops. Pinky. I think he's supposed to be an eye. I don't know why they didn't call him Pink Eye. 
And there's a the guy with the, the big mouth. Arachnicode. Again, guys, hit me up if you need Arachnicode. This guy is awesome. Man, why can't these be a good plastic? There's Pinky. There's the brain. That guy's one of my favorites. Have we looked him up yet? His name's Fleming. Ian Fleming. And there's Fleming again. And there's Klingon again. A guy with a weird nose. Uh, this guy we get a lot. His name. It's just saw him on here. His name is Oil Boil. Got two more packs. The guy is a tongue. Boy, that's a weird guy. Maybe I should look him up. His name's Clump Nut. What? And this is our last pack of. Fungus Among Us, Series 1, Round 2, Last Pack. Come on now. <sighs> Come on, give us something good, dog. And we get Oil Boil. And this strong man looking guy. He's probably in body. His name's Pops. Or do you think he's someone else? Pops. That's a weird name too. Yeah, I think that's him, Pops. Anyway, guys, I'm Toy Insanity. This is the mess I made today with Fungus Among Us Series 1 round two. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes and your kind, encouraging words. Have a great day.